What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is my second video on Basius's Basius products. Uh, they did send this out to me. They're not paying me to make this video, but they did provide this to me. Long story short, I ordered two Samsung chargers because my wife and I both have S22 Ultra 5Gs. And I ordered the Samsung Trio 65 watt chargers. I saw that they actually were not good chargers at all. I bought these with my own money and they reached out to me and wanted me to do more videos for them. So here we go. This is a really cool product. If you have and you know any type of device that charges via Type-C, whether it's a cell phone, it's a Chromebook, a MacBook, a Windows laptop, a Linux laptop, anything, even a Nintendo Switch, anything that uses Type-C, this will charge it. All right, had to scar the packaging a little bit. There is some information there at the bottom of it, on the back, all the different types of uh, voltages and stuff. The model number is PPBLD100-S. It is a polymer lithium battery. Only 5,000, what? Wait, no, 12,000, I don't know. I don't know. These lights are so bright, I'm like burning up in this room. It's crazy. All right, so in here we've got something. Ooh, it's a little uh, carrying case for the charger. So you don't like scratch it up or, you know, break it. That's a nice hefty cable there. Probably capable of 100 watts since this is a 100 watt Type-C charger. This is super freaking cool, man. It's got a little rubber thing so you can lay it flat and it doesn't slide at all. You've got protective film over the little screen. And I'm a giant nerd. I love screens. I love seeing things. 100 watts. This is like premium. This is quality. If you're wanting to carry it around in your bag, you're probably going to want to know how much it weighs. So it is 514 grams, which is one pound, two ounces. All right. So we have two Type-C ports. We've got two USB-A ports. Lots of ports on this guy. And we have a power button. So it's currently at 77%. That is a very dim screen. I wonder if there was a way to turn that up a little bit, but that is very dim. Okay, so holding it turns it back off. I feel like Kevin Gates over here. I got two phones, one for the green. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So let's go ahead and connect it to that USB type C port. Oh, that is super nerdy. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is showing nine volts at 2.3 amps. It's going to be two hours and 30 minutes all right so i don't usually read these but i wanted to know if i could change it to show the wattage instead of just the volts and amps but uh looks like when you plug it in you're only going to get the input on the screen and nothing else so you can pause that and read this if you ever lose this little book or if i ever lose this book you know a couple years from now i might be re-watching this video myself there's all the stuff on it that's pretty cool. Two hours and 30 minutes until this battery is uh, depleted at this rate. With this little reader here, I'm able to see that it's doing 16 watts to my, or 18 watts to my iPhone 12 Pro Max there. All right, so we'll plug in our iPhone. I got a Chromebook here. The port on it is messed up. So it's going to be a challenge to get it just right where it's uh, charging. All right, it does show that it is currently charging. Oh, there we go, 20 volts at 0.5 amps. It says in this state, it'll last for one hour and five minutes. Let's go ahead and plug up a couple more things. We have a little Bluetooth speaker here. It is red, letting us know that it's charging. And then we have this uh, Bluetooth speaker right here. Plug that up. And the little light on it turned red, so it's currently charging. We've got four different things charging off of this one battery bank right now. That is really, really freaking cool. 
And the fact that we can have like a MacBook Pro going at 87 watts or any other computer that uses, you know, 100 watts or less. You can have that. You can have it. All right, and now for maybe the final test. This is the same company. They make this 100-watt thing here. Let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, we're plugging in the charger. And uh says it's getting almost 20 volts at 3.2 amps. That it's going to take 17, 16 minutes to charge. This says it's going 71 watts. And according to this little meter thing here, it's getting 18 volts, 3 amps at 64 watts. That little guy right there. That's going to charge up in no time at all. Now, will it support charging my phone? Which it indicated that it is currently charging. This says 51 watts now. My phone is currently charging. And this says it's going to take about 34 minutes to charge up the battery. So that's pretty cool that it can do input and output at the same time. And if we unplug the uh, iPhone, it changes to about 15 minutes with 71 watts. Not sure if we're supposed to do this or not, but I got to try it for the video's sake. And for whoever buys this, this is a 65 watt charger through Bassius. I want to see if uh, we could do two. What will it do? Okay, so it is charging with both, but it did lower and it's still going at 19. Yeah, we're not going to continue that. We'll just use one. But this is really, 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 really cool. When I go places with my Chromebook, this will now be in my backpack. Since I know that I can charge my Chromebook at full speed, which is about 45 watts, and I can charge my, actually, let's see. I want to see if it charges my uh, S22 Ultra with uh, super fast charging. We'll see. What, what will it do? Oh, that's good. Oh, oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Super fast charging 2.0. I do have it set to charge at 85% and stop. So that's why it says three minutes until full. But, uh. Dude, that is so freaking cool. It shows 77%. It shows that it's going to be about two hours and 20 minutes of runtime left on this guy at this current rate. And that it's doing 9.3 volts at 2.3 amps, which is kind of sort of what I see here. Nine volts at two amps, uh, doing about 20 watts. And remember, this is like really, really close to being full. So, yeah. It's not going to be nearly as fast as if this phone was dead. Let's charge up the iPhone and let's charge up the Android. We get the little icon. We get super fast charging 2.0. And we've got this guy charging as well. Oh my word. Oh my. What? That's so freaking awesome. It's going to last about an hour in this current state. Nine volts at 2.2 amps this is freaking cool also want to you know make sure that my bluetooth speaker is charged up for some nice jams oh my freaking god 
All right, before you say anything, yes, I have a habit of losing things. That's why there's an air tag and a tile on my AirPods case. Man, we got two phones charging. We got a Bluetooth speaker charging. And say, you know, we need we need to be quiet. We need to be quiet. We're in the library. We can hook up our AirPods. A little red light came on. And now we're charging up all the things. Four different things connected to this guy right now. It's got less than an hour remaining. What is this safe still? No way. No freaking way. Super fast charging 2.0. And that's still charging. And my Bluetooth speaker is charging the little light there is red wow okay i'm gonna have a link to this guy in the description below and at this point this early on i'm definitely gonna recommend it this is super freaking cool and since my phone's almost full we're gonna switch back over to this guy and you know since this battery's low and almost dead but we want this stuff to continue charging we're gonna plug it in and it's continuing to charge it's charging at 51 watts. And this is flashing, indicating that it is going up and not down. It's going to be 35 minutes until it's full. It's receiving 19 volts at 2.2 amps through that Type-C port. Okay, I hope this has been a very thorough unboxing, test, and demonstration. If there's anything I missed, let me know, and I'll reply to you in the comments, and I'll try it out for myself. I'll have a link to this in the description below. It'll take you directly to the listing on Amazon. That is my affiliate link, and I will earn a bit of commission from that link or anything else that you search after you click that link. It's just a small way of helping support the channel. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.